Welcome to In the Spotlight, a regular podcast from the Witham, Barnard Castle's Community Arts Centre. Hello, this is Stuart Laundy welcoming you along to this week's edition of In the Spotlight, the Withams podcast. And if you're wondering why we've got a bit of Fleetwood Mac to introduce the show this week, all will become clear uh, when we chat to Amy Hughes, the new centre director at the Witham. But before I play the chat that I had with Amy a few days ago, I just want to mention another podcast. The Durham podcast very kindly invited me on this week to chat about our little podcast in the spotlight. Yes, we were talking about one another's podcasts to each other, but it was very good to go on. I thank them for their support and I recommend them heartily to you. It's a very interesting podcast indeed. Uh, They cover all sorts of topics from across the county. But let's get down to business. It won't have escaped anyone's attention that we have a new director at the Witham. She's called Amy Hughes and she very kindly sat down with me for a few minutes the other day when we chatted about how she's finding her first couple of weeks in post. I believe that your background isn't exactly in art. No, um, very different, um, but I am I am looking forward to a new challenge and, and something new. But yeah, very much more on the business side and running a business. So what attracted you to the arts um, centre? Um, so my family in the back, you know, in the past, we've all been very artsy, um, singing, dancing, um, in bands, etc. So I've always had in the background as more of a hobby um, and always wanted to do something a little bit more creative or be involved. Um, that didn't quite happen. Um, so got into business, ran a couple of businesses, management. Um, so when I seen this um, come up, I moved to Barnard Castle last year. When I seen it come up, it seemed a good balance, a good balance for me to do something for me and something that I was good at. So had you been into the centre then? Were you, were you sort of yeah. aware of it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'd come in, I'd seen a show, seen a comedian, um, and then um, brought the kids in for hot chocolates. And oh, in the summer, barbecue, uh, the, you know, last year in the summer, I'd just oh. moved here. Um, so we come up for that and watch some of the, the, so the some singers. Of the summer festival Summer acts. festival, that was it. Yeah, yeah so I've seen some of the, the acts there. One of my neighbours is actually on, so it was nice. Oh, well. Um, so what is, what, what's your role at the centre? What is it, what, what is it you do? Um, so the centre director, it's to, to oversee, to oversee um, the logistics, what's going on day to day, decision making, but to, to give a bit of structure and, and more so um, just bring the community together, you know, to understand the rhythm a bit more and what we do. But my main priority will be fundraising. Yeah. And to, to concentrate on understanding what the customer, you know, the, the people in Barnard Castle and surrounding areas want from the rhythm. Did you know or have you been made uh, aware of the uh, the trials and tribulations of the place over the last few years? Um, yes, yeah, <laughs> all briefed before I took the job, briefed on everything um, and of the positive. Oh, so yes, it's yeah. something that I'm, I'm massively looking forward to getting yeah, my teeth so, into. No, just when you mentioned fundraising there, because um, at, at the time I was working for the Mercury in town mm-hmm. and uh, we helped with the uh, campaign to raise 30,000 in 30 days to keep yes. the place going. Yeah, that was a bit of a hairy time. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I did. I've read up about it, and I have seen it. Um, yeah. Hopefully, in a very different place now. Um, but second to that, um, it, it's more so about making people aware of what the Witham is about yeah. for me. As with all arts venues, funding is such a major issue for the place. Yeah, um, it is. Um, but we just need to get out there, look at what's available, and get people of the understanding exactly what I've just said. You know, I think sometimes we need to get. Um, people understanding how the Witham is run and what we are about and fundraising is a crucial part it doesn't mean necessarily that we're in trouble that is how we run and therefore making people understand understand that yeah it's a it's a conundrum isn't it because there's still a lot of people I think around the town around the area who um see the Witham as something not for them really yeah um like I say I'm very new to this um I'm I'm not even into my second week. So for me to make comment on things yeah, yeah. like that is just sheer observation per se yeah. um, and opinions of other people, which uh, are important, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I think it would be nice to see that people can, sorry, start to understand the rhythm is there is something for everyone. It's not what people think it is. Um, yeah. And we are absolutely pushing forward to make that even more, more so. 
Um, so perhaps then uh, the best thing to ask you is about your first impressions of the place. Now, yeah. Rather, rather than us being a punter coming along to a comedy night or bringing the kids in for a, a yeah. or something, now you've had a couple of weeks looking at it from the other side. What's the, what's the first impressions of the place? Yeah, well, um, the first impression, if I'm honest, I've met everybody and everybody seems to be married to the Witham that work there. It's through their veins in their blood. Um, so I'm hoping, you know... Um, I'm already very positive coming in yeah. without any of that knowledge that I, that that will happen to me. And everybody seems to, seems to live and breathe the with them. Everybody's really friendly. Everybody, you know, you've got volunteers, you've got workers, and they do it for a reason. It's very yeah. positive. In the spotlight, a regular podcast from the with them. What do you like to do on a night out? What what what, what would bring you into the with them? Well, yeah, I don't go on a lot of nights out. I was, well, actually. I was going to say you've got a couple of, with a couple of little bands. I, yeah. I guess it's a restricted kind of market. It is restricted, <laughs> um, but no, comedians are, are great. But I, I love um, to say music, live music, acoustic music. I'm very much. I love Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac are oh. my absolute life. The Eagles love them. Um, so for me, a tribute of the music that I would like would be a fantastic night out. And it's not too heavy, you know. You come in, it's a good atmosphere. Yeah. Um, and the comedians, obviously. Yeah, let oh, your head down a bit. We're well, we're well known for the comedians. Yeah. Pete, Pete has done. Oh, he's fantastic! Yeah. Miracles with those over yeah. the years, and uh, he has a, a sort of ready-made audience now. Mm-hmm. You just have to look at the variety and type of comedians yeah. that we get here, and some of the, the the well-known comedians who come here as well to try their new stuff out. You know, so we've, exactly. And, and and the work Pete has done, there's a there's a really good reputation of the place, yeah. which I think counts for an awful lot. Uh, as, word of, as word of mouth gets round, you know. One hundred percent. I think it's great for the community to have that here. You know, yeah. something. It's a bit of a niche, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Um, I was going to say it's unusual. I, I, I suppose it is in this day and age to have a, a sort of small community art centre in a, a town of Barney, which is like five thousand people, probably six thousand now. They've built all the houses, mm. mind. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's something to be cherished. I think it is a hundred percent, and I think it, it's working on it being the heart of the community rather than like you said earlier. You know, if people have and and like I say, I'm very very fresh to this. Yeah, yeah. So having an understanding of what people I think the, the first and foremost the priority is understanding what the community want what they like what they don't like you know what yeah. they want to see and um having that and be, making it become the heart of a community and knowing there's something for everybody is very much on my agenda yeah as you mentioned you, you you know you're very new to the role and everything like that have you have you sort of set yourselves any goals for what you want to uh, achieve in the sort of short term medium term or is it very much a sort of watching brief at the minute and and seeing how all aspects of the building work yeah like I say I think it would be quite ignorant to to come in after two weeks and just say you know I've got to learn how things work I've got to understand what people want um but uh, in my mind a personal goal um it's very much in the first six months to get me head around how it has been what has and hasn't worked, yeah. what is very, I, I say a lot, a lot of positive and actually just putting some, you know, something behind that and pushing it further. So just trying to get a little bit of a goal, like exactly, I'm repeating myself, but getting people behind us. Yeah. Getting the community behind us. Yeah. It's good, I think, from from this side of things, mm-hmm. um, it's good to have a fresh pair of eyes in because like you you mentioned that, that we're all sort of wedded to the place. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes we can be right up at the coal face. And it sometimes takes a new pair of eyes or somebody yeah. looking from a distance to, to sort yeah. of say, and, well, and, yeah. And, and the thing is, is I come from a different background, so I can probably see things that other people don't, but equally I can learn a hell of a lot from people. Yeah. Um, and then having those fresh eyes on an existing, you know, I don't know, a system or a thought, anything can just put a different, it could be tweaks. It doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean, and what's working is working. But it's just those tweaks to, you know, um, but yeah. Yeah, it it is. It's very new, and um, it's exciting to see what could come. Do you plan on being a sort of visible presence, a visible yes. centre director there, or are you going to hide yourself away in no. in a corner? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, I talk too much for that, um, and I love people. I love what makes people tick. I like to see different types of people. So for me, um, being involved with the staff, with the customers there's no community if everybody isn't on board with it um i want to be amongst it and i want to feel it because that was the whole point i came to have that different type of job you know brilliant amy we wish you every success at the with them we'll maybe check back with you in a few months Absolutely. and see how things are going and for a, yeah. a, a bit of an update on everything like that but yeah. it's not ni- it's nice to meet you thank you very much nice for you? everybody to hear what you're sort of thinking is about the place and yeah. we wish you every success thank you very much nice to talk to you 
Amy Hughes, the new centre director at the Witherman. We wish her every success in the role. Now that's just about it for this week's podcast. Just a mention of what's coming up in the next seven days. On Tuesday night, the 25th, we've got folk music with Catherine Roberts and Sean Lakeman. On Thursday, the 27th, we've got a Royal Opera House screening of The Marriage of Figaro. The following night on Friday, the 28th of April, we've got big band music with the Strictly Smoking Big Band and their Harlem 58 show. And we route things off next week on Saturday, the 29th with comedy. Simon Brodkin brings his screwed up show show to the Witham. For more details and for tickets, uh, go online to www.thewitham.org.uk. And that's it from me, Stuart Laundie, and I'll say cheerio until next time. Thanks for listening to In the Spotlight from The Witham, Barnard Castle's Community Arts Centre. Available on all major podcast platforms, so please give us a follow and leave a comment. Or listen online at www.thewitham.org.uk. We'll be back soon with another episode.